Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. Could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nellie. It's nice to be in out of the cold. Yes, yes, what is it? Can I help you with anything else? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? A problem? Let me see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Frozen hearth. For one of the only remaining buildings in Winterhold. It sure looks all right. Can I help you with anything else? The tale of the great moth priest hunt. Good Not to see you. I'd want to read. Let's go. Are we ready then? Can I help you with anything else? Hey. 
Hey, so... We haven't relaxed at a tavern in a while. Our adventuring has been getting more tiring lately. So, some reprieve would be nice. Now, let's get going. The sun here... It's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean. Right behind you. Gods, that man nearly killed right me. In front of me. You saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. No. I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. Blood God, has never come A woman Marcus. attacked right on the streets. That's Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Charming, isn't it? The Force Ward? Strange. Well, I hope the Eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. I'd better get going. Ah. I can smell your wolf odor from here. Yes? What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. Silverblood family will be heard. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Preposterous! That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. 
While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. What is it this time? Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuanzel. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Oh, be certain to purchase my farmer translation toy. You're here to see the yard. No sudden moves. Understand? Hey, don't sniff me too much, all right? What is it this time? You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, it is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Mind the displays, some of them are quite fragile. Oh, really? Hmm. This looks like someone from Staben's little group. A brave scholar, but not very wise. If you find Staben, it would be good to see any notes he may have collected. I doubt you'll find him alive, though. I bid you safe travel. Old Dwarven city underneath the keep. Neshu and Zed. Best steer clear. Thanks to Kalsomo being extremely stubborn, it looks like we'll have to do this the hard way. We're probably going to have to break into his laboratory. We lost three good men to the track. And for what? Just to see another damn spider tank for an hour. Well, at least this post is safe enough. Come on, let's get back to work.
almost doesn't even look real, you know? What was that?
Nice job. Anything good? Accidents like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. I... All right. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Should have come here. Okay, and how was our friend Caselmo? Was there something else? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm, this is intriguing. 
intriguing, but highly disturbing. Hey, don't sniff me too much, all right? ...to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, but Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college, and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the Guild. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. So did Carlia send you again, or you can do it now? Hope everyone enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. See you all on the next video. Enjoy life and stay gaming.